Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a fingerprint door lock using Arduino and a fingerprint sensor of course. We can use this fingerprint security system for a secure keyless entry of a place. All in all, it is a useful and a fun project. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you want to buy electronic components, go to utsource.net website. Here you can find a lot of different electronic components such as ICs, transistors, LEDs, resistors, capacitors and many more. Now select your desired component. Now click on add to cart. Now your component is in the shopping cart. Now click on checkout. You can do your payment with different payment methods. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First of all, we need to download Adafruit fingerprint sensor library for our project. Now we need to enroll our fingerprint for that, we need to connect fingerprint sensor to Arduino. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect the fingerprint sensor module and connect its VCC pin to 5 full pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, its DX pin to D2 pin of Arduino and its RX pin to D3 pin of Arduino. Now we need to upload the enroll code. Now open Arduino IDE. and go to file then go to examples go to other fruit fingerprint sensor library then select enroll now upload this code to arduino Now open the serial monitor and type the ID for the fingerprint. We can enroll up to 127 fingerprints. So we have IDs from 1 to 127. For this project, I am using the ID 1. Now place your finger onto the sensor. Now remove your finger and place it again. Our fingerprint is enrolled. Now we need to connect the relay module and the solenoid lock. Now connect the relay module and connect its VCC pin to 5 full pin of Arduino and its ground pin to ground and its in pin to D4 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a solenoid lock and connect its positive pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its negative pin to ground. I'm using a 12 volt solenoid wall so I'm gonna connect 12 volt supply to common terminal of the relay module. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.